to my channel. I'm so glad you have clicked on this video and are here to join me for my What I Got for Christmas haul video. I know this is a bit late, but I still wanted to share with you all anyways of the stuff I got for Christmas. I'm not here to brag or in any shape or form. I really just wanted to share with you some really cute girly pink things that I bought myself for Christmas and that I got for Christmas as gifts from family as well. So I hope you are excited to see all of the girly pink vibes in this video of just all the cute girly pink stuff I got. So um, I'm really excited to share with you all and I love doing these every year so I'm really excited. So. Here we go. I think what I'm going to start off with is, I don't know, we have like Bath and Body Works, we have clothes, we got clothes and stuff, we have tons of pink girliness, and of like swans, we just got tons of girly pinkness here. <laughs> so if you love the girly pinkness, then this is the video for you. The first things I will share are these little things I got for myself um, that I bought for myself because um, you will also see that I actually got these also as gifts for other family as well. So I got these from Target. This is from the brand Opal House. It has a really cute A for my name and I just really was loving the mon the like initial kind of lettering stuff that they brought out for like the holiday Christmas gifting season from Opal House. I really loved it so much. So I got an A because the A literally was pink. I don't I don't think any of the other letters had pink ones for people's names. Um, so I got the A right here and I love it. it and it also has like this coppery gold like rim and it's a very nice, decent size um, mug. So in case anybody's wondering, this is from Opa House, which I just love. I love mugs. I have a mug problem. Just saying. From Target. Um, and then I also got the cute matching little notebook. It was, they're call it, they call it the monogram journal as well and I just love that it was like baby pink and it had an A and a cute little tassel and then this is what the paper looks like it's just lined that's what it looks like inside and then it's like gold red outside I just love the gold so that is the cute little Set that I got for myself because um, I just thought it was so cute and even if you don't use any of this stuff it's great decor pieces um, if you could find your letter and it maybe I guess comes in the color you want I also got these as gifts so I'm gonna overlay here um, I did get the letter M and I got the letter L um, for my mom and my stepdad so my mom was happy about the M because it was minty, fresh green. And then the L was like a much more kind of darker green. So I did get the other letters. So you can see the other letters that they have as well with the different colors. Um, but I really like it. I really like this cute little set. And then the ones I got for my mom and stepdad. I thought that was really cute. So I got those. Also, wait, I also got the candle. I almost forgot about the candle. I, I also did get a candle too for myself of it too. But it smells great. It's called Sweet Escape. The um, scent of this candle. They're all the same for scents for the, all the little letter candles. So I just love that the glass was baby pink and it had the letter. I feel like after you, once you're done burning the candle, you can use this as a cute little trinket jar or maybe something to store your makeup brushes in or pens or pencils, whatever you want. That's why I kind of also really wanted this little jar as well. And they were all super pretty affordable. So I was like, why not? So those are 
so super cute um really great little gifting ideas so i was very happy with those also i have to share gabby de martino's um beautiful mess fragrance i've talked about it so much already people are probably sick and tired of hearing it from me but i did get this as i did buy this as an early christmas gift to myself so here's the box um, I will link the review that I did of the fragrance down below if you want to go see it. Um, but yes, I did buy Gabby DiMartino's A Beautiful Mess fragrance. I was so excited. I'm actually wearing it today. But mm, it's such a sweet smell. But I was so excited to buy this. I did buy this on the pre-order date, which was November 13th, and I got it on December 10th. And I was very happy. This was, you know, my big purchase Christmas gift to myself. I knew I wanted it as a Christmas gift to myself, so that's why I bought it. And it smells good, and I don't regret it. And then also, let's, I guess since we're still on the, since we moved to, like, the fragrance topic. Um, so my Nana bought me Champagne Toast from Bath & Body Works, because I kept talking about how much I wanted Champagne Toast. And I think I mentioned that, but I just wanted it so much. I wanted to have more of it because um, I really like it. So she got me Champagne Toast. And I'm really happy about the scent because I really do like it. So she got it like in the, she got, she bought these off of Amazon. So she bought them like in the three different packagings that they came in over the past holiday seasons. So here's the lotion. So I thought that was kind of cool. And then she also got me the shower gel as well because she knows I like the whole shebang of sh lotion, fragrance, shower gel. So <laughs> that made me very happy. So thank you so much to my nanny. Um, so also I bought myself Bath & Body Works stuff. Um, so not only did I buy Beautiful Mess, in November, um, once December came, um, I bought stuff from Bath and Body Works during the five ninety five sale. Um, because not only that, I did buy my mom and I bought my nana Bath and Body Works stuff too. So I got it all during the five ninety five sale that would ha that happened. <laughs> if you remember the sale in December, I literally was up at six a.m. and I bought it. I was so determined to get this stuff on sale because. I bought a retired fragrance and then I bought what is currently my winter scent. So I'm kind of switching back and forth between Beautiful Mess and this scent right here, which is called Snowflakes and Cashmere, which I do have a fragrance review coming up of this on Friday. So this week on Friday, there will be a review of this scent. Um, so as you can tell, I have been using it. And then this is also this is a vanilla scent, so if you like vanilla scents, um, while um, Beautiful Mess I think is much more of a sweetie, pastry kind of vanilla, um, this is definitely a different kind of vanilla scent. Um, so I'm very happy about the Snowflakes and Cashmere because I also have the shower gel of it. And then the two little lotions here, so this is the 24 hour um, moisture Shea Body Cream right here. And then I have just the regular smooth lotion right there. So I got all of those little things and I love them. Also got, which was on my list that I've been wanting was pink cashmere. So can you tell that I love pink packaging of all my Bath & Body Works scents? Mm, that's so good. So here is pink cashmere. A little shower gel and then I have two of these because one is for my stepdad and then I bought one um, with the um, when I bought it off the Bath and Body Works website so I didn't know that they were gonna that he was gonna get me one but he did so now I have you know lots of backups now double the fun with these little ultra shade body creams right here so 
And I really wanted pink cashmere even because it's a retired fragrance and everything. So I really wanted this off my list because it was called pink cashmere and it just, the packaging looked pretty, but it does smell really good. So I'm very happy and pleased with myself in that sense. Um, what else? Okay, so on this side I have pajamas. So that's all the fragrances and stuff that I got. And then my mom, since we are living in the time of face masks, like face coverings masks, um, my mom got me this little pretty floral, like the tea floral, um, pinky kind of mauvey color um, that has cute little ruffles, little face masks right here. Hopefully you can see the pattern. But this is by the brand Universal Thread at Target. And so their masks are pretty affordable. Um, I think they're about like $4 um, for the reusable masks. Um, so I really do like them. Um, so I got one of these, which is so pretty. So I got one of those. And then I also bought these. These were in the... These were like, in, these were, I found these in the clothing section, but these were like part of like their Christmas, like gift giving kind of things. Um, so I found this really cute little faux fur little eye mask and it was pink. They have other, they had other colors as well, but of course I got myself the pink. So it's pink right here. And then the inside has a little satin material and then the cute little ruffly kind of stretchy elastic. So I got those, and then I got the cute little fuzzy little slippers. So they do have little grips on them so you don't slip and fall. They're so soft, such beautiful soft faux fur, and kind of like, um, I guess, Sherpa lining in the inside. But look how pretty those are. And then there's the bottom. So cute and fluffy. So I got those, they were really inexpensive as well. And then these are all pajamas. So I got a bunch of pajamas. Um, so I'm really excited about that. <laughs> so um, the first one right here is for my mom. So this brand is called Pink Label. <laughs> Can we talk about the brand right here? Pink Label, oh, it's their Pink pink Label by Letty Fashion. Um, and that's off of Amazon. So. I got, I've been really into nightgowns. Um, I really like going to sleep in nightgowns. I'm a nightgown person. In case anybody was wondering what kind of pajama person I was, I guess I'm mostly a nightgown person, but I like buying other kind of pajamas too. I like buying matching sets and having like, I guess like pants or wearing shorts with, you know, little pajamas. Like I just, I like going to sleep in actual pajamas. Okay, folks. I like to go to sleep in actual pajamas, not sweatpants and a baggy t-shirt. I don't feel good. I don't feel pretty in that. There's no beauty in that. I feel no beautifulness in that. <laughs> um, but I was so, I actually picked this out and suggested it to my mom that I found this really cute brand on Amazon. And I've just been really wanting to share with you guys because I found this such a sweet, if you're looking for vintage inspired pajama lookings i found this brand on there so um i just love the little pink roses and stuff just so pretty like that is so cute and so very dreamy so i did get that it's just all pink but i just love the detailing all up in the neckline right there this cute little set right here is from target so it's actually long sleeves because I, I didn't have any winter pajamas for being quite honest and I really like this style. So this is by this brand Stars Above. So here's what it looks like. This is the little pajama top and it's long sleeves. It just has white piping detailing and it's just like this beautiful soft blushy pink. So pretty. So those are the top. And then here are the bottoms. They're just little pants that have like the white piping and then the cute little drawstring. So there's those. 
And then these are from Amazon. These were actually um, from the UK. Um, this is a UK brand um, called Selena Secrets. Um, I found this pajama set and I told my mom that I wanted these and she got them for me because they were swans. And I was like, I couldn't find anything like this. Like I searched for like swan pajamas and then the only thing I could come across was this right here. It's like a fleece material, um, but I just loved this little swan. It just says, if the crown fits and it has a cute little swan, um, she could be your swan princess, your swan queen, whatever you would like to call her. But I was just really happy with it. And the bottoms are so cute. They're also fleece and they're just long pants, but I just love the little pattern of the swans. I also have like a swan plushie that kind of looks similar to this. Like she has like a hot pink glittery crown. So it's gonna be so cute when I take pictures and stuff. Um, and then I bought myself these pajamas right here from Target and they're also by the brand Stars Above. This was actually part of their little Christmas collection type of thing on the website because it was in that little category that they had it in. Like they had like red versions of this but of course I wanted the pink. So it's like a nice soft muted pinky blush color. And so it's just long sleeves, it has little buttons. And then here's the little sleeve right here. And then it comes with these kind of, I guess almost, it feels like velour or kind of very light kind of velour feeling, or maybe almost velvet. It feels really nice and very buttery soft. That's the thing about the stars above brand at Target, their pajamas are buttery soft. And I really recommend that. If you want cozy feeling pajamas, mm -hmm. they are the ones to go to. So here are the bottoms. They're just like this plaid print and then the cute little drawstring right there. So that's all of the pajamas. Over here, what do I have? I have a swan pillow, which I'm so excited about that I wanted to share because this is from the brand Opal House as well. And I bought this for myself because I really wanted a swan pillow so very much. And it's a cute little holiday-esque looking swan. It has little bells and little floral apico um, details. But I really, really wanted this for myself. So here is my little swan pillow that I really wanted. So I have these little slippers that my mom got me from Amazon as well. They're little pink bow slippers. How cute are those? Just wanted some cute little house slippers to walk around in. So these are so, so pretty. And if you're looking for cute little bow pink slippers so you can walk around in your house and feel cute, these are adorable. So I got those. Also, I have some nails, some, some press-ons that I wanted to share with you um, and kind of recap on the holiday ones that I bought for myself for um, the Christmas season. These are the ones that I'm still currently wearing since Christmas, since the week of Christmas I put these on and they're still on. So they're holding up very nicely on me. Um, but these are by Impress Manicure, like you guys know. These were their holiday limited edition ones. See the little snowflakes on the packaging? So this is in the style Melt and Ice. So I got these. And then I have these nails. Um, they're still available um, from Target if you want to buy these off Target's website. Because um, that's, that's where I originally bought these. Um, but I actually bought these like during the fall. And I was going to wear them during the fall, but I had gotten my nails done and stuff. And so I never got a chance to wear these, but I wanted to share with you guys anyway. Because I want to be able to share um, cute pink, different shades of like pink like um, press-on nails. Because I know a lot of you 
wear press on nails um, right now and you're always looking for the nice pinky girly the pinky girly ones and this is more for like I guess like maybe like the muted kind of more neutral tone I guess based people um, but this is in the style called autumn which I bought these during the fall which is autumn so here's what they look like so it's more of like a muted pink and then you can have like a fun little accent color if you wanted to So, there's that little pack there that I wanted to share with you. Um, like I said, um, Press On Nails um, by Impress, they will range from anywhere from $5.99 to $8.99, depending on what store you go and purchase them at. Um, but the majority of all of the ones that I've bought, in, they have all been from Target. Um, I bought these, though, off of Walmart, though, um, the holiday ones. But... Just so you know that they can be very inexpensive, much cheaper than going to the nail salon, which is why I'm kind of back into wearing the press-on nails now because I noticed just, you know, like the, I like buying like fun little designs on the nails and doing that at a nail salon costs a whole lot more than, you know, so, um, if you are looking for fun press on nails, then Impress Manicure is my favorite brand. Since we're getting onto this pile now, um, I'm gonna share with you the top that I'm wearing um, because that's part of all of this little next side. But I had to show you that I also did buy myself a Santa, a pink Santa hat that's like faux fur and stuff on it. Um, but so you'll see that I wore it in the thumbnail, but. I did buy this as a Christmas gift to myself because I didn't have like a pinky, this kind of pinky color of a Christmas hat and I wanted one. Um, so I did buy this cute little hat right here which matches my shirt perfectly that I'm wearing. And plus I did wear it during the Christmas season. You would have seen that I wore it in one of my outfit of the days. Um, but I also have this top right here, which is from Target. It's this cute little puffy sleeved. You can see that the sleeves puff out a little bit, kind of like a princess. They're like princess um, style sleeves, like from a princess dress. And it's this beautiful kind of like, I guess, bright kind of neon pinkish looking color. I really like this. Um, I, bought, I bought this because I saw Tanya um, wearing it in one of her videos and I was like I wanted this and I got ended up getting it on sale actually um, during December so I bought it for myself and I'm so happy it's so nice and cozy so this is the cute little the cute little top that I bought and I just like it so I did buy this so I will definitely have to take some proper pictures in it one day but this outfit is from River Island, which I will consider this as my second, I guess, biggest purchase because individually, these items from from River Island are very expensive um, once the money configures to US dollars because in the UK, this stuff is pretty cheap, um, pretty affordable. I'm not gonna say cheap, but it's pretty affordable because the quality of this stuff was really nice and I was like really impressed and I bought this outfit based on an Instagrammer that I follow. It's called, she's called, she's on Instagram called Drop Some Sparkle and she posted this outfit a while back. So I've actually had this outfit for so long. Um, I think I, I bought it before Thanksgiving. Um, so this outfit could be, this is very much, pretty much is probably sold out. And I'm so sorry for that, but I bought it then and I knew I wanted to wear it. I was supposed to wear it during the Christmas season, but it just didn't feel right to me to feel nice and get dressed up. But I did end up wearing this outfit, so I will have video of me actually wearing this outfit because I actually ended up wearing it um, just in the new year. <laughs> but I wanted this outf I wanted this outfit so much because of her. Um, and I gave her credit and everything and she said I looked really nice in it. So that made me very happy. But I bought this off her recommendation. 
and I love the style of River Island clothes because you can't really find that kind of stuff here. <laughs> so, um, this is what it looks like. It's a cute long sleeve pink knitted little top. And I just love those sleeves right here, the, how they go at the end. But I really wanted it for this, like, I love this neckline and the pearls and the ruffles on the shoulder. I love pearls. And they're like gold pearls and then the cute ruffles. So that's why I had to buy this cute little top because I didn't have anything super cute and fancy looking like that. And so I bought this faux leather skirt um, to go with it because that's how she paired it. And it ties, has a little tie belt here. And then all of the little gold little buttons. And it's like a taupey color, I think, the skirt. And it is double lined, so in case anybody's wondering. But I just love it because it just like, it's like a paper bag style. So it just kind of like, and it's, in, it's I got a petite in this as well. So there's the cute skirt. It's so pretty. And it was something different for me to have in my wardrobe collection. Because I don't have anything kind of white quite like that. Now I do have some accessories that I also did go to go with that with this outfit. So I did get this really cute rose gold. Hopefully you can see. But I did get this rose gold little headband. So I did get that. And I also got this set of earrings right here. And then the other the other earrings that are missing off this are actually in my ears today. So, I really like these. Um, these are the earrings that I paired with the outfit, in case anybody's wondering. So there was something different. I didn't have any kind of earrings looking like this. So when I wore the outfit, I ended up wearing these right here. So, <laughs> That is the whole little River Island look that I got. And so, yes, it was very much, very much well worth it because I very much, very love this outfit and will be seeing myself re-wearing it in the foreseeable future. So I'm really excited. Very much loving that very much. Now, the rest of these little clothing items are from Target, so of course, we have another little pink blouse, of course, and this is by the brand A New Day. Um, so this is much lightweighter, lightweight, <laughs> so it'll be nice for me when I wear it in the spring and summer and stuff. So I really liked it because I love the sleeves. Look at these sleeves, they're so nice. I know it's a little bit crinkled right now, but it's okay. It's going to puff out when I wear it. And I need to really invest in maybe getting a steamer. <laughs> but there's what the little sleeve looks like. It's so cute. I just really love the style of this little blouse top. It is a blouse style top. And I really want it because of the pale pink color. So, so super cute. That's the little top I got right there. Also, we got a chunky sweater <laughs> right here. I was actually supposed to wear this for New Year's Day, but I never ended up getting dressed for New Year's Day. <laughs> um, but this is by Wow Fable, but I still have the rest of this month to take some proper, I guess, New Year's Day um, photos and stuff. But I got this chunky, um, I think the color is gold. Yep, the color is gold for this sweater. <laughs> the chunk, the falling down because it doesn't have a neck to sit on but it just like rolls up right there and I got that I don't know if I said this top with this this brand the top this top is from this by wild fable and target I don't know if I said that the, the top that I was wearing with the brand was so this is also wild fable as well this little gold top this nice chunky sweater um because I was planning on pairing it with um, my Wild Fable 
black denim skirt, um, which is kind of similar to the skirt that I'm wearing, but I have it in like a black um, denim style. So that's why I wanted to pair this with some like black tights because also I got to go with this top and the dress that I'm gonna share with you is I got this little headband. It has, it's by Sugar Fix by Bubble Board. No. So this headband is so pretty and it has gold um, rhinestone chains looping through the velvet, the black velvet um, braiding of the style of this headband. So um, I wanted to wear it with this little sweater right here and I also wore it with this dress, this black velvet dress right here that I wore for New Year's Eve. And it's so pretty because it just like ruches look at that beautiful kind of like ruching detailing on there like i don't even know if you could tell and it has cute little buttons on the sleeve so pretty but i will have a more proper <laughs> looking of this on me it's very long um and it's a beautiful kind of like crushed velvet and it's by the brand who what wear if anybody's wondering so very much loved having all of this paired together. Last big item over here, which is the robe that my mom got me from the brand Stars Above at Target. So it's beautiful kind of like, sh there's like Sherpa lining in here. And then it's just like all faux fur, like this pink, blushy pink, super soft, buttery soft faux fur right here. Like, this looks so much nicer. Um, I don't know if I can, maybe I can show it to you. But like, look how cute. <laughs> but, I really wanted a robe because I didn't have one. So, this was me finally getting my winter robe. Just like how pretty that is. Super pretty. So that's what it looks like. And inside. So that's my little robe that I got. And then the last big thing that I got is I have joined the Pink Keurig love which i'm so excited about it's actually not in the box anymore it's sitting on my counter in the kitchen because i've been using it so here's what it looks like here's the box <laughs> what it looks like but i'm so very happy with it this is from my aunt sabrina which i'm so very grateful and thankful for and i just I love it so very much it's the color dusty rose this um keurig this little mini keurig and you don't know how long I've been wanting this Keurig and I finally have joined the club and I'm very, very happy and super, super grateful for it. And yes, I am very much very grateful and super blessed for everything that I have gotten and that, you know, I was able to get myself and treat myself a little bit and a lot of it was bought over, you know, a couple of months um, until Christmas came because I really wanted these items and stuff. Um, but yeah, um, I'm so happy. So very happy, so very grateful, and just wanted to be able to share with you all the sweet kind of affordable things. Um, maybe not everything's super affordable here, but the majority of it is. And I just want to be able to share with you, um, you know, girly pink items. You know, you don't have to search super far <laughs> for them. But I'm very much very happy with all the stuff that I got that's super pink and super girly. And this is just me living my life. Um, right here. Very pink. 
and very girly and very feminine-esque. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up. It's greatly appreciated and helps me out a lot. And until next time, have a beautiful and magical day and I love you all. Bye. Oh, if you have the will.